Thank you for tuning in to Cosmic Co. TV. I am Cosmic Co. I mean, we're doing the January 2021 monthlies. We made it. Happy New Year. Um, up next we have is Gemini. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini for the month of January 2021, please, Spirit? Did I say 2020 monthlies? January 2021 monthlies. Whole new year. Um, oh, okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini for the month of January 2021, please, Spirit? What messages do you have for Gemini for the month of January 2021, please, Spirit? I ask that you allow me to be a clear channel and to deliver these messages with confidence and clarity, completely unbiased with my own personal thoughts and feelings aside. What messages do you have for Gemini for the month of January, please, Spirit? First card out is money. All right, please, Spirit. What messages do you have for Gemini's for the month of January 2021? Okay. Um, we have money, body, and independence. Gemini's, y'all seem like y'all been feeling good. Like y'all been minding y'all business. I don't know why, but this money and this body card is giving me some of y'all might be getting some some work done. I'm here for it, sis, brother, whatever. Um, do whatever makes you feel good. And I think that's very much what you're about, um, what you've been about for the past few months, I feel like, is minding your business. And I'm here for it. I love it, okay? Um, minding your business, collecting your coin, taking care of you, living your best life. Let's see what we got going on. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini for the month of January 2021, please, Spirit? What messages do you have for Gemini for the month of January 2021, please, Spirit? I also heard your body. I know some of y'all been working on y'all bodies, getting it together, you know, could be bringing some coins in for you. Take that how you want to take it. Um, take it how it resonates, you know? That is the Louis Spirit. Um, Spirit, what further messages do you have for Gemini for the month of January 2021, please, Spirit? Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's for the month of January 2021, please, Spirit? What? We got the Ten of Pentacles. Gemini's? Why are y'all even here? Why are y'all watching? Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini for the month of January 2021, please, Spirit? Y'all are very protective right now. Y'all don't want nobody to ruin what y'all got going on. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's for the month of January 2021, please, Spirit? Success. Okay, you don't want nobody to come in the way of your, your success, of the positivity, the manifestations that you have underway. Um, Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini for the month of January, please, Spirit? Eight of Wands flipped over. Okay. Um, the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles also came out. Um, like I said, I feel like you're you've been working on yourself, you've been focusing on yourself, manifesting your best life, collecting the coin, have a clear vision, clear path, um, and you're doing what you need to do to get there. Good. Point blank period. Absolutely beautiful. Um, if you have not been very protective of yourself, please do so at this current state in time, okay? Because you are on the road to success. You already been getting glimpses of it. You've already seen the possibilities. Um, but it's really on its way. Okay. Um, be very protective of who you have because somebody is watching your trees. You planted them trees, you planted them seeds a long time ago, but now somebody else is watching what you collected. Somebody pocket watching, they're watching your success, they watching you on social media, um, whatever, and they plotting, and we're not here for it. Okay, so be very protective of what's yours right now. 
um, question anybody's energy that is trying to come in. And that doesn't mean overly analytical, be overly analytical um, and very untrusting, but, you know, use discernment. It's a blessing. We were all given. Use it. Because um, <laughs> I do feel like somebody watching. Major. Spirit, what further messages do you have for Gemini for the month of January 2021, please, Spirit? The Knight of Wands, Death, and the Queen of Pentacles. Spirit, please clarify that. I feel like somebody is coming in trying to wreak havoc. Up your protection, baby. Uh, Gemini's up your protection. Somebody is sneaky. Somebody is plotting. Somebody is watching. They pocket watching. Um, they are looking for opportunity to come in and take, to come in and sabotage the greatness that you have, that you are experiencing. Um, so if you do any kind of candle magic, you know, you, you practice anything, up your protection, um, send that shit back tenfold, cause not here for it. They're right. They're trying to ruin, um, not only your money, whatever contracts and in, in business you got going on, but your reputation. The re what? Your reputation as well. Okay, they're trying to taint your entire name. Um, fuck the bullshit. I'm not here for it. They can kick rocks. Um. And the Seven of Swords keeps trying to come out. It was at the bottom of the deck. And then it just came out. Yes. Sneaky. Manipulative. Um, possibly stealing from you. Okay. If this is somebody that works for you. If it's a friend. Somebody trying to. They. they, they. Hands is in the pot. You playing with the church's money. And the devil. Somebody. This could be a partner. A relationship. Like I said, friends, family. This is somebody that you're closely tied to. Um, this ain't nobody that you you don't have connections with that you don't know of. This is somebody in the mix. Somebody you've been telling your business to. Somebody that you might be sleeping with. Um, this could be your mama, sister, brother, cousin, auntie. I hate for it to be that way. We never want it to be that way. But this is somebody that you're close to. Whew. Lord. Jim Naj, y'all was over here minding y'all business. Y'all was over here living y'all best life. And here come people with the bullshit. Um, know that it's nothing too major. Like, they're not going to be successful in whatever it is that they're trying. But just be aware that they're trying. Um, and almost like they're trying to disguise themselves. So they come in with offers. This might be somebody that gives you your gifts. Um, you know, that takes care of you. Oh, yeah, you know, I bought you this. I got this for you. I think you should do that. Da, da, da. Uh-huh. Yeah, you a snake. I see you. Okay. Um, a wolf in sheep's clothing. I see you. But, okay. Pay very close attention to the people that you have around you. It's snakes in the grass. We don't play them games. Cut the grass. Um, the grass has gotten too tall. It's time to cut the grass. All right, Spirit. What final messages do you have for Gemini? At this current state and time, please, Spirit. What final messages do you have for Gemini at this current state and time, please, Spirit? I ask that you allow me to be a clear channel and to deliver these messages with confidence and clarity. Completely unbiased with my own personal thoughts and feelings aside. We have the Fates, card number 17, first card out. Treasure Island, card number nine. Um, and Mending, card number 52. Bottom of the deck, we have Orphaned. Okay. So, I'm not even going to read the Mending card because I feel like this Mending card and this Orphan card goes back together. Like I said, this is somebody that you're closely tied to, closely related to. Um, I mean, closely connected to. So, say for instance, this is somebody from your past coming back in and being like, hey, look, I know we ended on bad terms, but I want to fix this. I want to resolve this. Here's an apology. I bought you a gift. Da, da, da. And you let them in, and the whole time they've been plotting on your downfall. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. Whew, be aware. But I am going to read 17 and number 9. 
Um, starting with the fates. Flip straight to it. Fate, karma, acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. The serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God, grant me the serenity serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by nature, and by your past experiences may be fated, preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events in your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. Um, protection message. It is difficult to understand why painful things happen to good people. Fate is a mystery after all. Yet we yet we do with our circumstances. Yet what we do with our circumstances um, the way in which we respond to life's challenges is how we rise up to greet our destiny. Now is one of those times to be aware of your powerlessness to change certain such slow down to change certain situations and surrender to acceptance. Hang in there. Life will only get better. Act as if you believe that for the only thing you can control right now is your attitude. When you align with the fates, being mindful of what can and cannot being mindful of what you can and cannot change, serenity will come to you. Lord, can I speak? Whew. My moving a mile a minute and my voice, my, my mouth cannot keep up. Um, lastly, we have Treasure Island, card number nine. The law of attraction, bring, bringing dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking made manifest. Abundance appearing as if from nowhere. Financial gains and the financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. You've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance, and suddenly, in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. You have uncovered the map of buried treasure and tapped into the unlimited potential within you. What you must hone now is your ability to recognize where X marks the spot. Because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may not be so readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long, hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally. In all aspects of your life at this time, in all aspects of your life at this time, you have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic. Ooh. I can't even read nothing else. Um, Gemini, that is all that I have for you today. I hope that it resonates. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Um, feel free to check the description bar for more information on where you can find me on other social medias. Um, as how, as how, as well as how to go about booking a private personal reading with me. Um, also check out my website cosmicconcepts.com where you can find my custom apparel created by me for people like me. Um, other than that, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Um, but that's it. That's all. It's all love like beans.